Hello I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, welcome, fantastic. Please subscribe, you don't have to of course, but it would really help me along my journey if you would do so. And there is great things to come and there's lots of content on my channel which I'm sure you will love. Today we are talking about, drum roll please, we are talking about don't be afraid to make mistakes, enjoy life. And of course very often when we put ourselves out of our comfort zone and we start actually making one or two mistakes or perhaps making the wrong sort of decision and then leading us back onto a better decision, we often find that the growth is certainly worth the while of that little bit of a slip up or that mishap what happened. And at the end of the day, making a mistake or making perhaps a wrong judgment can often lead us to growth, can often bring us to a position where if we didn't make that mistake or we didn't make that call, which perhaps didn't turn out right, we wouldn't perhaps have grown in the way of what we've done so throughout that journey and experience. Yeah, quite deep I know what we're talking about today, but I've, I've found this because I've been working damn hard in my career and things are only just and just starting to take off. When now I'd like to say through the pandemic and of course I know we're still dealing with all the after effects of that and we still have to be really really careful but in the last six months I've really started to put myself out there I've started to almost bite my bottom lip and just say to myself do you know what Bradley just be confident have faith in yourself be true to yourself and actually just say it or just do it or just put yourself in those situations and there's an amazing saying which my brother and I um, are true to and we stand by that whenever we're comfortable it's time to move on so in my role I've been comfortable for a little while now um, I work in finance and accountancy so it's a really pressured role it's really it's very strict to time um, and I work to a very very strict and tight deadline on a monthly basis I think that's the easiest way to say, uh, to, to say it um, unfortunately I can't say what I work in but what I can say to you is I am now starting to ream the benefits of my hard work and success is starting to come my way in terms fingers crossed promotion very very soon which will be a huge step for me um, in terms of everything and that's just great and you know what that wouldn't be happening if I didn't make myself I'd say within about the last good couple of months that if I didn't sort of started saying to myself, do you know what, if we if this happens, it happens. If you make a mistake, what's the worst that can happen? I'm going to say, actually, this has started to really hit home since I lost my nan back on the 31st of May last year. My nan is my world. I miss her every single day. I love her so much. I lost my nan. Um, it was two days before it was a couple of days before Nan was due to turn 20, uh, 95 and um, and it was and it's really really difficult it's really difficult to talk about this and it's really difficult because of the way of which I lost my Nan was horrific and it was very unexpected however she had Alzheimer's but she was doing so incredibly well and we went from planning her birthday party sorry it wasn't two days it was the 31st and Nan's birthday is on the 5th of June so in my heart she she got to 95 because she was there she was right there so we were planning her birthday me and my mum and this horrific event happened and Nan tried to fight it and she couldn't and she passed away and that was on the 31st of May and I was with my nan with my mum and my brothers when when it happened and I was right by my nan's side and I was holding her hand and I was with her throughout the night and then I was with her when she took her last breath the way of which I seen my nan go out of this world the most incredible beautiful lady ever soul inside and out the way of which I seen her lead this world makes me think that why on earth do I spend one moment of this life worrying when actually if someone's so amazing and so treasured and just a beautiful soul can lead the world the way she did then I'm going to really show this life that I'm in the driving seat and I'm going to grab everything that I, that I can I'm going to work damn hard and I'm going to make every moment count I take great
My nan is my nan is up above with the Lord now, and I know she's with me all the time, and I know she looks down on me, and I try to make her proud every single day. So no, I'm not afraid now of making mistakes. I learned so much throughout my nan, my time with my nan's life here. I lost her. I was 28 when I was on that cusp of just having my birthday. So now I was 94 to 95. I was 27 to 28. So I had my nan all that time. I've got cousins who didn't have their mum, my aunt, for that long. So I'm blessed and I'm privileged for the time I had with her. But do you know what? She was an incredible nan, an incredible mum, an incredible friend, a best friend to me. And she was a teacher. She was a life teacher. She'd take your hand and she'd battle the world with you. And my nan's last lesson to me was work hard, always, always put family first, and keep going. And you know what? That's why, to be quite honest, that's why now I'm not afraid to make mistakes. I've been blessed in this life with amazing family. My mum, a best friend to me, my dad, the same, my nan, the same. I've got amazing brothers, nieces, nephews, sister-in-law, my brother's partners. Yeah, I've got an amazing family. I've been blessed in this life. I'm not going to waste it. And to be quite honest with you, now I'm not afraid of making mistakes. Beforehand, I was very apprehensive. I would worry and stress about how somebody would receive an email or how somebody may read the way of which I'm trying to convey an inf uh, information in, um, whether it be a text message, an email, um, what, what have you. I would always worry about these things. I would always try and preempt what people were thinking. Not now. No. So put yourself in those uncomfortable situations. Stretch yourself. Make yourself almost shut the door on that feeling of apprehension, worry, fear. Don't be afraid of making mistakes because they hold you back and they hold your development back, your growth back. They may even hold you back from being your whole self in a relationship. They may hold you back from achieving your life goals. They may hold you back from getting your finances in order. They may hold you back from friendship, relationships, all of these amazing, great things, just because sometimes perhaps we don't want to put ourselves out there or we don't want to break our comfort zone or we don't want to break that bubble which we often find ourselves in of again comfort and we know that what we're doing works but you know what being spontaneous and breaking that circuit it develops us it grows us it boosts us and there's great things to be had on the opposite side don't be afraid of making mistakes because i absolutely kid you not and i guarantee the moment you put yourselves in those uncomfortable situations, things will start to improve. Things will grow. You'll develop as a person in life, in life skills, may even be financially. Who knows? It could be many, many wonderful things ahead, and I'm sure it will be. Don't be afraid of making mistakes. Be spontaneous, be strong, and you'll get there. Thanks very much for being here with me. Thank you very much for sharing this with me. It means a great deal to me. It really does. Thank you so much for being here. And you know what? Until next time, perhaps just try something small, work up to the bigger things. Why not? If you'd like to leave me a comment or a question, I'm absolutely privileged always to receive them. I'll do my utmost best to get back to you as quick as I can. Thank you very much. God bless and take great care. And I'll be seeing you real soon. Bye for now.